Well, as I look out over the next 10 years or so, I would highlight three big changes, big transformations that I think are going to happen. The first is a continuation or acceleration of the shift in economic power from, broadly speaking, west to east. The west is going to go through quite a difficult period of adjustment, of deleveraging of economic change as it adjusts to the excesses, the bubble of um, the pre-crisis era. And that is going to take some time. Meanwhile, Asia and much of the rest of the developing world is going to go through a period of continued rapid growth of urbanization, industrialization, which will also bring some real social challenges. So that's one big transformation. A second continued source of transformation has to be technology. The pace of innovation in IT, in genetics, in advanced engineering continues to reshape the world we're in. And that's an arena of huge opportunity. The third change, and one where we will have to apply some of that technology, is all about the environment. We've just crossed the 7 billion mark in the world's population. The climate change statistics are becoming ever more reality. And I think over the next decade, we are going to have to face up to and be very determined in our approach to dealing with the challenges of the environment. Well, the banking industry has already changed very significantly since the crisis. But I think it will have to continue to change quite radically. And I think there are three different primary drivers of that. The first is simply that bankers, banking has to recognize its role in the broader economy and society and refocus and recommit to that role of enabling businesses to invest and grow, enabling consumers to live their lives in the way they want to. A second big change and related to that refocusing is the scale of change in the regulatory world. We already carry as banks double the capital we carried before the crisis, but there's still a range of regulatory changes that are influx still coming in and that will have profound changes to the shape of business models in banks. A third force reshaping banking is technology. Banking at its core is fundamentally a digitizable industry and like other digitizable industries like publishing or music it will be fundamentally transformed by technology and I see that happening at accelerating pace over the course of the next decade. I think the first step is for banks and bankers to acknowledge their role in the broader economy and society and to take responsibility for the way we play that role. We have a fundamental role. We're like the oxygen that enables the economy to work. We help businesses invest and grow to trade and invest. We help individuals live their lives in the way that they want to, saving for their retirement, buying a home. That kind of recognition of what we're doing is central to us playing our full role. But we can also help address specific problems that society faces. For example, financial inclusion, the provision of microfinance. At Standard Chartered, we have provided over $700 million in microfinance in a whole range of countries across the world. We can help in meeting the challenges of climate change by financing new and renewable energies or ways of mitigating the impact of climate change. So working with different sorts of partners, NGOs, governments, other companies, 
banks can play a very significant role in helping the world meet the challenges of the next decade.